Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys wherever you are on this beautiful world whenever you're watching this video Welcome to the Bitcoin family channel guys for the newcomers My name is Didi waking up early again in Lagos, Portugal to witness this amazing sunrise over guys over there guys Look, I'm gonna share it then we're gonna talk about the Bitcoin charts trading tip travel tip mindset tip and much more of course also the news Let's quickly turn the screen so you can enjoy this beautiful sunrise amazing colors again beautiful sun popping up above olive oil it's just amazing to be on the beach in this early times guys and just witness a beautiful sun coming up again beautiful day ahead guys let's first jump in the charts because i know you really love the charts Bam. The first chart guys is the Gaussian channel chart. I've been sharing this for the last couple of months, years already, but the last couple of months, I paid a little bit more attention to it because yes, again, we touched that midline and we need to now break that top line around 28,139. If we don't break that, we can be sucked again back to that beautiful midline or even to the bottom line at 22K. But I expect us to go slowly up again and break that beautiful top line to go again and try to break the 30K level uh, so that we are like positioning ourselves a little bit more closer to that halving which i believe that we will be between 30 and 40k at the halving in april 2024 guys let's jump into the next chart this is a very important chart guys uh, stock money lizards made this chart it's beautiful how you can see the bitcoin prices but also combined with the colored rsi and that colored rsi is telling you when to buy and when to sell your bitcoins the green areas, of course, where the RSI is low, that is the buy zone. The red areas where the RSI is high, that is the moment you need to sell. So if you now look at this moment, we are still in this greenish area. We try to go into yellowish, just like we did uh, back there in 2019, but we didn't. And we came back to the green area, that's what we are doing now, into the green area. And from that green area, we will slowly start to build yellow into red areas. And when we get dark red, when the RSI is completely at the top, that is the moment you should be selling your Bitcoins, at least exchanging your Bitcoins, into stable coins. Don't put them back on the banks, because the banks won't allow you anymore in the future to buy Bitcoin. Not the Bitcoin that you need to have only the Bitcoin that they have as a custodial service. And that's not the Bitcoin you want. You want the Bitcoin that is there on your own hardware wallet that you can use to send to everyone out there in the world, not the ones that are on the bank and you can only exchange back into banking money, into banking money. Now, then the second chart, guys, is this one also a really cool chart comparing the three cycles, 2014 to 2018, 2017 to 2021 and now 2021 all the way up to 2025 just compare these cycles just pause the video and understand this four-year cycle guys and you can see that there is a lot of phases from zero to one to two to three to four to five and all the way up to eight again now we are now around level three to five so yes last time we went from almost 3k to 13k in the top so that was a plus 100% run. The time before, we went all the way with 170% up in this phase. Now we are only going up with 60%. But if you look at the regression in the like previous two cycles, this is about where we should be now. So that's a beautiful run. Now, the first time we went up 2,200%, the second time 450%, how high are we gonna go now? Let's see. But there will be a new peak again and we are about to leave that area from 3 to 5 into the area from 5 to 8 and that is the area you should be in Bitcoin because that's the most profitable area be sure you are in Bitcoin start to buy now around these levels of 26.7k guys very simple the last chart this is the Bitcoin one year hodl wave this one is also indicating you know when the holders the long-term holders of one year plus start to sell their bitcoins every time when we go slowly into a bull market you can see these blue arrows is the time that the long-term holders start to sell start to sell their bitcoins just look at the last time in the, when we went into that first run all the way up to 60k 
That is the moment that the long-term holders start to sell slowly. They dollar cost average in, they buy the bear market bottom, and they dollar cost average out, they sell along the bull run. Now, from that moment again, they started to buy in the bear market. You can see that. The long-term holders are increasing. And they again, when we will reach the top, start to sell slowly. So be aware of these runs and these waves if you want to be a hodler that also understand what the rest of the hodlers does. That were all the charts for today. Let's jump into the next part, the trading tip. I hope you really enjoy the charts guys. Yes, in Bitcoin it's just very important for you to understand that cycle, that four year cycle, that RSI is bottoming out. Yes, we are in the part of the cycle just ahead of the beautiful halving. You should be buying Bitcoin, this green area. This is the moment you should be buying guys. Zoom out in Bitcoin. Look at that bigger picture. Quadrupling your capital maybe in this bull run. And zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single moment of the day, like these beautiful sunrises. I can't get enough of these sunrises. A lot of waves today, guys. The trading tip for the day, guys, is understand your exchange. There's many different exchanges. They have many different functions and many different ways to operate them. If you're trading on my favorite exchange, Bybit, for example, the link is down below if you want to sign up. There's a 30,000 US dollar bonus, depending on how much you send up. Most people will only get like a $500 bonus because then you don't need to deposit too much. But guys, Bybit, for example, is an exchange that supports a trailing stop loss or supports a normal stop loss or has staking mechanism or has even liquidity providing pool mechanism. So it all depends on which exchange you're trading, but you need to understand your exchange, the possibilities, because trading is not just about analyzing the charts. It's also about how does the exchange work? How do you put a trade? How do you put a stop loss? How do you put a trading stop loss? How do you change a trade that you're in? So understand the trading mechanism, understand the leverage mechanism, understand all of that. Like Bybit's system works maybe different than, for example, Prime XBT, which also support leverage, but in a different way. Understand the possibilities of the exchange to become a better trader. Trading tip for today. The news of today, guys, is about the SEC, because there's four US lawmakers that have a meeting on the 27th, and they are calling for the SEC now to approve the spot ETF. These are US lawmakers calling for the SEC to approve the spot ETF like by directly. So we are not gonna wait another month or two months. They are now asking the SEC to start approving the spot ETFs, which could lead to the spot ETS already being approved in October, which could lead to a huge pump in Bitcoin. Also, another reason to buy uh, Bitcoin at the moment, guys. Don't wait for that news, anticipate already, because we know that the spot ETF will be approved in the future. So if you know this already and you understand how much liquidity can come to the market because of that, you should be buying Bitcoin now. That is what you should be doing. Add Bitcoin to your portfolio at the moment, because you wanna be in before that huge push comes. That was the news of the day, the spot EDF may be coming earlier than we all think. Bam! Walking this amazing beach guys, yes, brings me to another beautiful travel tip. As we will start traveling soon again to Thailand. Uh, yeah, the travel tip for today is always bring a universal adapter. And I know it's a very simple travel tip, but many people forget it every time again. Other countries have other plugs to plug your thing in. So you need to have a universal adapter that fits all plugs. Your European plug in Asia or in the United States, guys. If you don't do that, there is another travel hack. Like for example, now I was in Singapore. I didn't bring the adapter with me. I did bring the adapter with me to Singapore, but then I forgot to bring it to the race. And in the sky suite uh, that we were with uh, the Viper team, there was a plug, you know, the three pin plug, like this one, one on top, two on the bottom, that pin plug. I only had my normal adapter iPhone plug. So what you can do then, the three pin plug, you can switch it off. There's this on and off switch on that one. Then you take a pen, you put that pen in the top hole. So you press it in the top hole and somebody holds that pen. There's no, uh, there's no power on that. And then the two pin you can put in the bottom two holes. 
and then you can use a two pin adapter and a three pin plug over there guys so that was the travel tip of the day always make sure you have the adapter because else you can be electrified or you want to watch the gp in singapore for example uh, you won't get electrified because you switch the uh, you switch the power off first it's in the three pin there's always a power button switch off then the pen then your adapter and then switch it on again okay that was the travel tip for today walking that beautiful beach guys brings me again to the inspirational tip i hope these high waves are not killing the sound guys but the inspirational tip for today is like <clears throat> it's very important i had a lot of issues with that tip when i started this whole traveling life this whole bitcoin adventure it was a huge issue for me to let go of who i should be and just accept what it was at that moment you know there's a lot of people expect you to be like this and you only think you should be this or you should be that it is very important that you're happy with what you are at the moment just embrace what it is don't let go of your goals of what you want to become but don't focus too much on what you should be or should have or should do just be happy with what you are what you do what you give just what you are at the moment is the most important thing we have to let go of what we think that we should be and just embrace what it is be happy with what you are you are what you are be happy with it embrace that enjoy that and then at the end yes that will lead into the steps of who you think that you could become or want to become if you want to become a better person then start with accepting who you are at the moment and then the rest will follow itself which leads me to the last part of the video answering a question of one of the followers yesterday there was a question Didi I am planning also to go to Thailand and travel there but I'm also afraid that again with the lockdown there will be a huge shit show all over the world and that you will get stuck in thailand or any other country what do you think about that and what is your experience of the last lockdown you had in thailand now we were exactly there so we just left bulgaria where there was a huge flu we didn't even know it was covid but it was like a flu epidemic so we left bulgaria and we flew into thailand just because before the whole covid thing started in thailand it took like almost six months before it even started like all of the world was panicking about a flu and this and that in thailand in kopagan i was just living a normal life on the beach doing everything i want no face mask no requirements for vaccinations and all that stuff the moment it changed in thailand was well, six months later than it all started and then people start to require a face mask in the 7-eleven and later even a face mask on your motorbike and that's when we said as a family okay we don't want to wear these uh, face masks these, these face diapers we call them at that time so let's see where we can go now so there is always the possibility during lockdowns that you fly back home home is where your residency is our residence was luckily in portugal so we were able to fly back to portugal when we arrived in portugal in portugal it was also a little bit like this yes there were some things that you need to do like you need to do uh, a face diaper if you went into a, a, a Lidl for example or into a pharmacy uh, that's why I didn't go into pharmacies or Lidl's um, you could still do all the rest of the things like pretty easy in Portugal it was like pretty laid back you know it was not that the restaurants were killing you if you didn't have a QR code or something the whole QR code stuff never existed um, in Portugal um, at least not in Lagos where I live but even in Portugal, I didn't feel completely free. I still had this urge of like, I want to be completely who I am at that moment. I don't want to adapt to a situation because some people in the world think that they will die of the flu. I want to be living a free life. So that moment we found out that Mexico was the free space to go. So we uh, booked tickets from Lisbon to Mexico, Cancun, Playa de Carmen is where we went. And there we uh, found out that there didn't uh, there was no flu over there so there everything was open everything was normal every bar every restaurant like everything was just as it always was so we spent five months in mexico during that whole period where nothing was happening we could live our life completely normal and when all the shit show in europe and everything was over yeah that's the moment we flew back to um, europe for example and that's when we could live this normal life here again 
So for me, flexibility is the new stability. It is very important that you're able to be flexible. If it is a shit show in certain countries, you leave. You go to a country where you can be free. And if it becomes a shit show over there, you leave again. And you go to a cool country again where you can be free there. That's the beauty of traveling. That's the adventure. Embrace the adventure. Don't see all these things as hurdles. See them as a sideway into the next adventure. Ah yeah, shit, this is happening here now. Okay, we go to the next adventure. I already had it very early in our traveling. When we were traveling in 2004, we went to New Zealand. That was the last trip my wife, Romain and I, did single without kids. So together we went, Romain was pregnant from Jolie, so we took a safe country. We went to New Zealand, you know, first time pregnant, you don't want to take a big risk. So we went for three months to New Zealand. In New Zealand we discovered it was summer, but it was the worst summer ever. It was only raining, raining, raining. Yeah, and then we can be sad and mad. No, we just booked tickets to Thailand <laughs> and we flew to Thailand. And when we arrived in Thailand, we went to Krabi to go to Koh Phi and we were not allowed on the boat because there were high waves. Suddenly we were in the middle of the tsunami. <laughs> that was 2004. And in the tsunami we were evacuated because a lot of people were dying over there. We didn't understand anything until we saw the television shows. So we were driven by buses from there to the other side of the island, uh, the other side of Thailand, Koh Samui. And that is where we, from there we went to Koh Chang. And then we just enjoyed our holiday over there. So yes, there will always be hurdles and there will always be things that you think, ah, shit. The flexibility makes it possible to just turn around and do something different. And that is what I experienced for the first time ever during the whole COVID period. A lot of people were locked up in their houses, were locked up in their countries, were locked up everywhere because they were not flexible. They, can't, they could not leave their house, their jobs, their stuff all behind and go. We have an online income. We have Bitcoin. We don't own Metrodesk stuff. So yeah, we were able to fly all over the world with just 24 words in our head to cash out our Bitcoins in one of those countries and to live a normal life over there again. We didn't leave anything behind. We were able to be flexible. So that's my advice for today when it comes to the question. Be flexible. Flexibility is the new stability. That was everything for today, guys. I'm going to turn around. Look, bright lights of the sun. Uh, I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, then give today's video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And leave a comment. What do you think about the video, of all the charts, about everything else? Thank you for watching. I wish you an amazing day, guys. I see you maybe tomorrow again. My parents-in-law are visiting us for the last couple of days now. So I don't think I want to make a video tomorrow again. So uh, let me see. Maybe yes, maybe no. Uh, just enjoy this show. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow again. Probably. Bam.